Stanford University. I'm teaching a class called Objects of History, and we're interested in how you can gain historical information by interacting with objects, by, in this case, replicating objects and then using the objects. I'm teaching Applied Physics 100, and it's kind of a combined class about ceramic studio processes and also the physics of fired ceramics. We just came up with this idea that maybe we should uh, have our classes come together to collaborate on something around the idea of replicating objects from the collection, both taking a modern high-tech approach using uh, computer scanning and 3D printing, but then also replication by hand, so to speak. We are looking at two specific objects. The first is a Japanese tea bowl from a tea ceremony, and another one is a Korean jar. This is a 19th century uh, Japanese tea bowl from the Meiji period, mid-1800s. For this object, we think it's from Korea, but we don't really know. It's 6th to 5th century. With objects in a museum, you can see them and you can think about their history, but you can't really relate to them through direct use. So the idea was to try to reproduce those objects into a less valuable form that you could then actually kind of carry with you for a week or use in an actual tea ceremony. I found out really quickly that it's really hard to replicate things. And so I just want to replicate kind of the feel or how I felt when I touched these pieces. I kind of went more freeform and made bowls that replicated this idea of a tea bowl, but didn't necessarily look just like that tea bowl. In the process of doing that, it makes it a little bit more real and more tangible, and you appreciate better the piece's original function or what the maker was intending for it. Doing a tea ceremony gave us something to do in which we could actually interact with the objects in the way that the people whose era we're studying interacted with the objects. Kind of approaching history in a new, innovative way. I think it allows us to put our bodies through the same actions people went through historically and really gives a different sensory experience of historical action. Things that you learn by doing are lessons that last for a lifetime. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.